Hello everyone! In today's video, I have updated my previous aim system with bug fixes, improved aiming, and mobile support. Before we start, I wish you all a happy new years and thank you for all the support and suggestions. Remember to vote in the weekly polls. I recommend watching the old aim system video before watching this video, since it goes in depth on how you can add custom weapons to the aim system. If you don't know how to make custom weapons, then you should watch my tutorial on that as well. Now, one thing that is new is a string value inside each of the view models called aim pus. You can find the string value in each view model by going into replicated storage, blaster, view models, and opening up any of the view models. If you're wondering why that string value is important, it's because it holds the value for where the view model's position will be when the player aims. I'll now show you how you can get this value. First, playtest the game. Next, equip your weapon. Then, look inside Workspace and select the view model that's in Workspace, for instance, Auto Blaster. Now look at its properties and go to Pivot Offset, Position. You will need to play around with these values so you can find what is perfect for your weapon. But for the weapon to be in the middle on the x-axis, the x-axis, aka the first value for the position, is usually around 0.9. As you can see, now it's in the middle. As for the Y and Z axis, you will need to do that on your own. For instance, on the Y axis for the Auto Blaster, negative 0.2 is the best. After you've found the perfect position for your weapon when it's aimed, copy the position, create a string value called aim pause inside of its view model, and paste the position you just copied into its value property. Now you're all set. Another thing that I've improved is the aim movement. It's much smoother than before and is also less glitchy. Lastly, I've also added mobile support since almost everybody was asking for mobile support. The system is uncopy locked and down in the description for everyone to use. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and commenting down below your video suggestions. Don't forget to vote on the weekly polls. Thanks for watching.